Hey, welcome back to the January House. This is Mike. Thanks for checking in. It is Thursday morning. Did not have a uh, video yesterday because I was busy packing up items from the auction on Tuesday night. Sold a number of items. We had a great time. A lot of good conversation in the chat. We actually went into overtime. Uh, usually I do my auctions from 8.30 p.m. Eastern till 10.30 p.m. Eastern, but um, I had these cool old vintage uh, photos that I found in the storage locker from a freelance photographer. They were eight by 10 glossy black and white mostly uh, photos of car accidents and fires like barn fires or house fires. And they were in binders and um, I previewed them on the day of the auction in, in that video. Uh, and then I sold them, it was the last lot of the night I thought it was gonna be. Uh, you can watch the video here, just skip to the end of the auction video if you want to see the photos. They're pretty cool, uh, I thought. Just some cool old cars that were all mangled up. And I like to check out the uh, outfits that the individuals were wearing at the time. And just there's a little history I talked about, some of the um, areas where these accidents occurred and things happened. So it's pretty cool. So the auction went uh, a little longer than it normally does. We ended up um, finishing around 11.15. So it was pretty late here on the East Coast for me uh, after I got done and straightened everything up here in my office. So when I woke up on Wednesday morning, had a lot to pack up and get to. I sold a few things in the eBay store, not much uh, on Tuesday myself. Uh, and then I was running around doing things around the house and hanging out with the kiddos, so I didn't get a chance to make a video. So that was yesterday. Uh, before the auction started, I actually got my hair cut at a real barber here in central Pennsylvania. So my barber was telling me that they opened on Friday and um, I got my hair cut Tuesday afternoon and he said that they've been nonstop busy since, uh, since they opened. And there's an 80 year old gentleman that is a barber there at this barber shop that I go to. And my barber was telling me that on Saturday, this 80 year old gentleman worked 12 hours straight just cutting hair, it was just so busy. And like to the point where his wife had to come to the shop and like try to drag him out of there. And he was fine with it. Everyone else was apparently concerned about how long he was working, but you know, he said, I don't wanna go home, I've been home for three months and I wanna cut hair and talk to my customers. And like, he was fine with it, but they finally got him out of there. Um, but yeah, my, my uh, barber said they were, they were super busy. So uh, that was cool to see. It's a little like local, you know, barber um, here in central Pennsylvania that I go to. It felt good to get a, a real haircut again. It's been a long time since I had a real haircut at a barber, so uh, I did that. And I sold a few things last night. I'll show you some of the cooler things here. Let's jump into it. All right, first up is this cool carpenter's hammer. So it's a vintage plum, P-L-U-M-B, uh, carpenter's hammer. It's like half hatchet. It's got an octagon shaped head on it and a nail puller there on the side. And I found it at an estate sale. I paid $4 for it. I'm not really in the tools that much selling tools. Um, but I recognize the brand name from some of those sockets I've sold the plum P L U M B sockets, uh, that I sold. So I thought, well, maybe this is worth something. It was only $4 and I ended up selling it for $19 plus shipping. Even in the condition it's in, you can see it's a little rusty and the ax part needs an edge. Um, so yeah, I learned a little bit there and uh, I'll be on the lookout for more of those in the future. All right, so next up is an external Dell floppy disk drive. So it's like a USB um, connected floppy disk drive. I got it in a lot of video game items um, that I purchased a while ago. It was kind of just like a throw in. And it ended up selling, there was a, quite a number of them listed on eBay for sale as well. So I thought this would sit for a while, but it didn't. And it always makes me wonder why mine sold versus, you know, the seven or 10 other ones that are on there. I mean, is it, is it because of feedback? People look at your feedback. I mean, my price was pretty much, you know, right in line with everybody else's, my shipping. I'm not really sure, but I ended up selling it for $15.99 plus shipping. All right, next is an action figure. This is a Galaxy Fighter. This is Iguana. And you can see he's, Almost complete, 90% complete. He's missing a shield uh, in his other hand that he's supposed to be holding. But I got this in that uh, online auction of action figures and I sold it for $34.95 plus shipping. And then next I sold this other Galaxy Fighter figures. This is Centaur. 
and he is complete and I sold him for $30 plus shipping. All right, so today I have a busy day. I've been pulling items out that I had put away from a storage locker purchase months and months ago. Um, and you'll see that pile here. And I strategically placed it in front of my front door so that I'll have to get through this pile either by the end of today or tomorrow so that I can use my front door again, right? Um, but it's just a random mishmash of things. There's some clothing items in there. There's some books. Uh, you see a camera there. There's some computer video games. Um, just random stuff that I have to photograph, list, and uh, put away. So I'll be working on that today, along with um, some more of those action figures that I had from that um, lot I showed you in a previous video. I got a question from a viewer and they said, Mike, do you prefer to sell action figures in lots or individually? And for me, the answer is, it depends on the value of the figure. So you see the two that I sold yesterday that are shipping out today. I sold them, or I listed them individually. Uh, because they were worth 30 some dollars, right? Some of these ones that I've looked up um, lately under that big bag of action figures that I had to go through, they're not worth that much. They're Marvel X-Men figures from say the mid 90s. You know, they're worth between five and $10 probably. Um, I'll probably end up lotting, you know, four or five of them together and trying to sell them, you know, 1995 lots. I, I don't think I have the accessories for them and I don't think the figures are in that much demand. So that's my answer. It, it really depends on the value of them. And you see, when I pull items, I try to get a different mix of things. I hate listing like 50 action figures in a row. It just gets to me after a while, even though I love selling action figures. So I have to mix it up. Like I'll list five action figures, then I'll list five books, then I'll list you know, some clothes and then I'll list something else. So keeps it exciting for me a little bit. So uh, I'll be doing that today. And that's all I have for today. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, please hit the thumbs up button. Leave me a comment down below and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more great videos. Thanks.